Well, hey there, folks. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to Southeast Louisiana to the sweltering heat. Oh, folks, it's hot. It's June 24th. We have uh, hit 99 today. Had to let it cool down a little bit, bottle some honey, get ready for the market tomorrow, and decided to wait till evening to go out here and check a particular colony that I think is having an issue. Two reasons I waited this long. First, it's hot. <laughs> I mean, it's hot. So I've let it get down to 95. But in the shade, it'd, it'd be cooler. So the shade has hit the highs now, so that's a good thing. Um, the second reason I waited to evening is this colony appeared to be getting robbed the other day. Um, and if it was getting robbed, I did a few, uh, just one quick measure to try to keep it, you know, to a minimum. I want to go in the evening because if robbing does start again, because bees, once they know where it's at, they go after it. And if it's opened, it, it, they, they'll come back to it uh, at least the robin will only go on until dark so so why did it possibly start getting robbed well this was a colony that if you remember in a video we went through and picked honey out of certain colonies well this is one of those colonies that I took the honey off of I took about four or five maybe three or four frames something like that I took them out we extracted them and put them back in the other super that was on it had, was already full and was being capped and then when I came back off vacation, it was one that I looked at and the entrance looked pretty slim. So I took the full super off. Not even, you know, because when I had put those frames back in, I under supered them under there. I just grabbed off the full box of honey, put it somewhere else, thinking, okay, they swarmed. Don't want it to get messed up. But there seemed to be a lot of bees, so I let them keep that box that was on it. And I didn't look. The other day when I seen them look like they were getting robbed, I opened it up. And those frames were empty in the middle but the other frames weren't robbed yet so that's why i think maybe they were still good to go so what that tells me is this when we were picking honey out they had probably already swarmed or swarmed in between then and when i went on vacation because they weakened up really really fast so i gotta go out there and either reduce them all the way down to one box to save them or yank whatever honey is still good off of there and i'll have to extract it because i won't if, if it, it'll be loaded with beetles i can't There'll be beetles in there trying to lay eggs and stuff. I can't put that back on top of another colony. Because if there's empty combs, I've learned you don't take that. There were all those beetle eggs have been laying in there and put that on another colony. Because then you just give them a whole world of hurt. You don't want to do that. So it's got to come out. Um, and there were like three or four frames. I did pop the top the other day really quick and looked. And there, there were four frames that looked like they had honey in them. So... I'll try to save the honey. I guess I'll bring it in here and extract it uh, and uh, get them reduced down to one box. If they are completely gone or it's been robbed or it's whatever, I'll have to set it up on its side uh, until I can get to it this weekend because I don't want wax moths to get it. And I want to stop the whole deal with the beetles. Um, so got to get it opened up and aired out if that's the case. Well, that's what we're going to do real quick. Uh, that's all I'm going to do tonight. Uh, this weekend I want to take you through and we're going to look at supers. I can't extract this weekend, but I hope to next week or maybe even the week after. It just depends. It'll be July, but I want to go through and take a look and take you all with me this weekend. And we're just going to pop lids. It's all I do this time of year. I do not get in my hives a lot this time of year. There's just no reason to. They're curing honey. Uh, there's just no reason to be in them um, unless there's a problem. And that's what we're doing tonight is going in one that's a problem. Once the flow stops and we start digging around through colonies, all we're going to do is promote robbing and just get a bunch of irritated bees in our face. I will always go through problem children, and I will do an assessment after I harvest. I do each year just to kind of, I know who swarmed, who didn't. I want to see if they got queens again. But I won't go through the big ones that are doing just fine that we pulled honey off of. I'll leave them alone. Um, and I'll go through them, you know, very strategically, maybe six or eight a day. So I can get through in and out real quick so I don't start robbing. Just make sure the queen right if I see eggs, boom, they're right back together. Um, the ones I know swarmed, of course, we'll check to see if they've got eggs, see what they're doing, and hope that they requeen. But it's tough in the summer, so tough in the summer. Always have a bad percentage of requeening uh, summer swarms. And like I said, I think there were six out there. Uh, out of the 35 here on this property in that one, there were about six that had swarmed. So, you know, we'll see if they requeen. Usually you get about 30% of them to requeen, um, and that's that's pretty normal. Maybe even more. Could be more than that. It just depends on the situation and the dragonflies and the birds and the heat and everything else. So, luck of the draw, I guess, um, for the queen to get back. Plus, I got my hives stacked all next to each other, 
and there's, there can be drift when she comes back. She can actually hit the wrong landing board, and that can always be an issue too. So a lot of different factors go into that. Well, not really a lot, but just a few factors go into that that could prevent her from being successful. Man, I'm breaking a sweat. Let's get out there and take a look. You know what's crazy? It's six in the evening, and it's still 97. Uh, obviously not in the shade. Shade is gonna be a little cooler, but my goodness. Remember that video I said I can see why people are snowbirds? I can see it. They can't take the cold. They come here for the summer. They can't take the heat down here. They go there for the winter. Can you blame them? Oh my gosh. The older I get, each year gets harder. All right. Let's take a look and see what we can figure out. Oh, trusty's still loaded with bees. All right, so let's go out and see what we can find. And those summer swarms, they happen. They're really good with uh, production colonies not swarming this year in the spring. Just the summer swarms, not having enough supers. Uh, that bit me. So, uh, I'm breathing hard. Let's get in here and take a look. See if they look like they're being robbed again. Uh, second from the left is our colony in question. It's definitely got not as near as many bees. And it doesn't appear. See, I'm seeing ants, carpenter ants, all on top of it. That's a bad sign. Um, carpenter ants are a lot like wax moths and small high beetles. They're very much opportunists. They're not an, uh, an aggressive ant. They're opportunists. So when I see carpenter ants, it tells me that the bees aren't doing a good job guarding. There's probably not enough bees. That means the beetles are going to be bad. It's going to be a combination of all that. I see a lot of bees hovering around the cracks on the top. So that's telltale. So we're going to have to we're gonna have to get in here and see what's going on. If it's still a viable colony, we'll reduce it to one box. And I'll deal with the empties later. And when you open one up and they all fly straight up without trying to get after you, it's usually robbers. So let's look. See how they all just kind of flew up? Yeah, this thing's getting robbed. I'm seeing the honey already robbed out. So, let's look. Yeah, this, this was this had honey in it the other day. Telltale robin sign. Look at that. So this hive is got to be saved out of here so we don't lose the comb. And this colony that was in here, I suspect it actually swarmed before I went on vacation. It had to have. All right. Well, at least we did pull honey off of them at one point. But yeah, they've been robbed since I've been in here last. So let's see if there's anything. Uh, any critters? I see small high beetles. There's high beetles crawling around. So, what I'll probably do is I'm going to flip these boxes up, kind of get light flowing through them. That way, we keep wax moss off of them for now. I'm going to go get my dolly. I'm going to bring them over to the trailer and put them out in the open and get light going through them. Save them to the weekend. Then I'll probably freeze the frames to kill any larvae and then I'll, I'll store them. Um, and yeah first dead out or rob out i'll look through it just to make sure there's nothing viable in it there shouldn't be at this point but we'll check sometimes they still have a small cluster that just kind of lays there but most of the time uh robber bees they kill that queen right off the bat and if that's the case it's useless but i suspect it's useless i suspect it's our first dead out let's dig down and see what we've got left and see if we can salvage this equipment so this super can come out Definitely not gonna need that. Uh, if those are robbers, you can usually run them out with smoke and they'll come right on up out. They're probably still taking the honey that was in the dome. Let's see. I don't see it. I think it looks like it's all gone. Most of them, yeah, that's all been robbed out. So it's all gone. We got some good frames, so we definitely don't want to lose them. So let's get these boxes turned up and outside and I'll haul them in. Save that equipment. Try to get them I try to get them dead outs off quick. I'm surprised we're not seeing them in beetles. That's good. And robbers will leave yeah 
Yeah, there's nobody left in here. I think they swarmed a lot earlier. I think this is a swarm that was way earlier than I suspected. Yeah, alright. Yeah, no dead bees on the bottom, nothing. So this is a goner, and let's get this equipment put away. Yeah, there's still robbers going in that entrance. We're gonna fix that though. I'll have to go deal with these. Or these. Now this one swarmed, but they're holding their own, and I could stand to put an entrance reducer on it, but they seem to be holding their own, and they're guarding their top, so I'm not sweating them too much. That house is full. These are all guarding their top. This one here, it's, um, it's one I'm concerned with as far as swarming too, but they got a lot of bees in there still, and they're holding their own, so... We just leave them alone and let them try and requeen. If not, I have four nukes that have queens, at least they did. I'd have to check and be sure, but they were queen right and we could we could possibly requeen with those. That second one was washboarding big time the other day. Definitely gotta get some harvesting done. Get everybody reduced down. Look at these. We found them a hole in the back here. A hole. This is one of my rotten boxes. I think I had to use because I ran out of boxes. No, shouldn't have been. But there's a hole right here. Yeah, this is one of my rotten ones. And garden it and ventilating. Robin's not bad because there's obviously a flow or something going on, but there's still honey in this one. See, they're still robbing it. A bit of honey right here. Yeah. Look at them go. Pick, pick it up with heavy. I'm not going to leave it there, though. They can rob it off of the trailer where I put it. My goal at this point is to save this equipment. Here. And we lost half a super of honey. I want to show y'all something why I suspect it. It's it swarmed about the same time I put the honey frames that I uh, extracted back in. Let me show you why I'm saying that. Because again, they had a super that was full. I moved it somewhere else when I first got back because I they looked like they had went down on population. So I moved that super. There were, there were a lot of bees, so sometimes I'll let the remaining bees finish while they're requeening. But they were already dwindling. Why do I know they had dwindled so far down? They couldn't refill those frames that we put back in there that were wet. Here, look. I put these in the middle. These are still clean. These haven't been capped and robbed. They may have put some nectar in them. I see where they built the wax back out some but they never got even close to being capped in full. So it wasn't long. It was around the same time we took the honey out of this from them. Yeah, that one they had. See, so it looks like I pulled four frames out of this and I can tell they built the wax back out where I uncapped it. I can see that. And I'm sure they had probably put some nectar in there, but that's about it. So this, this thing swarmed, it was, when I pulled that honey out, it was already probably had cells or preparing to swarm. And in the summer, once I know they've turned the corner for the most part, and we're we're filling and we're supering because they're putting honey in, I don't go back in them. Now this year was different because the privet didn't flow, so there was a time frame where they kind of went on a little bit of a dearth. 
that allowed me not to extract no that kept me from extracting so then i had full you know half and full supers and that really kind of fouled me up but more supers would have saw that but what i'm saying is is normally once that i saw the blackberry thinking it was the beginning of privet but anyway there's a flow when there's a flow i don't i, I stop going in the nests at that point from that point on it's just mainly uh supering up make sure they have space we did that with this one obviously they were already preparing to swarm this definitely was an earlier swarm they didn't requeen or they got so weak and got robbed and the queen was killed although the, the colonies aren't out trying to rob right now they they're still hunting in there and you see this thing isn't overflowing with bees and even though the night when they were robbing it wasn't that terrible so there's still something out there and they're not going crazy so they probably just dwindled on down and never requeen that's the best i can figure and that's a typical summer swarm and that's why i've got to check queen right on those i don't like summer swarms they worry me a lot but they happen no summer swarms are most all the time in my case are because they just backfilled the brood nest and ran out of space to put nectar and that was the trigger uh, we tried to stay ahead of most of them and you know 90 percent of them we did but there's that 10% or really, I guess it's really about 3%, three, 3%, three I think right number wise. So I had about 3% that swarmed counting in town. So as of when I got back from vacation, I don't think any more swarmed after that. They're all still bearded up on the fronts. All right, bees, we'll see y'all this weekend. It's too hot to be out here with y'all. Well, there you go, folks. It is hot. It cooled down when the sun kind of got behind those trees. But uh, I have to get under these trees. Yeah, that's it. It's, uh, it's a dead out. Well, there was nothing there. There was no dead bees or anything. Again, I suspect it swarmed early on. You can see where they rebuilt the wax in the super. They never got it capped. So that tells me they didn't get uh, even part the way through the flow all the way. I mean, I don't know how much was in there. Obviously, it was nectar in there that was robbed. But nonetheless, it swarmed pretty early. It must have swarmed that same week I was leaving. So, But the goal at this point in the silver lining is we have good equipment. And the goal is save that good equipment. So that's what we're doing now. Saving that good equipment. I want that stuff. Uh, it's out in the air, in the light. It can breathe. But look, there's a lot of bee bread in there. And uh, I, I don't... I'm going to tell you, I've left it out before on that trailer in the sun. And it has gotten moss. Um... It has turned into one big cocoon so what i will do and there's a lot of hive beetles running around there's not not as many as i thought in such a weak hive with no bees guarding it but uh you know there was quite a few so there's bound to be eggs that are going to hatch of small hive beetle larvae want to get those frozen and uh get any wax moth larvae stuff all that any anything we want it all frozen out and uh and done uh, but i'll leave them out there for the next couple days until i can get to them uh what I'll do is I'll freeze them and it'll be time to start uh, pair them off. And I hate doing it this early, but I don't have room in my freezer. Um, so what I'll do is I'll begin to storm and pair them off and take care of them. All in all, everybody else seems to be doing okay. Haven't noticed any other colonies out of... I have 35 here. Well, now I have 34. Um, I have 35 on this site. I have another 10 in town. Summer requeening is tough for them. It just is. There's dragonflies. There's birds in number the birds have found them they know where they're at the dragonflies are flying like crazy uh, my hives are all stacked next to each other so they don't always get to the right entrance um, all kinds of different things uh, so who knows we just hope for the best and again through our post harvest harvest assessments I will find that out and we'll figure it out but it is what it is so we save the equipment we move on and we live to fight another day all right guys so I'm gonna get in this is Barry's best honey I'm Mike, and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful evening, and may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.